left that faith. He was arrested in 2009, sentenced to death last year. Before his last hearing on Wednesday, Natakani was given three chances to repent for his beliefs. Each time he refused. He's married, father of two boys, and the Iranians may put him to death at any time. With us now, Father Jonathan Morris, author of the book, God Wants You to Be Happy. And from Virginia Beach, Jay Sokolow, Chief Counsel for the American Center for Law and Justice. All right, Jay, is there enough worldwide pressure being put on the government of Iran not to execute this man? Not yet. Uh, the pressure's mounting, Bill, but uh, there was a very tepid statement that came out of the Secretary of State today. Uh, her office, uh, Secretary of State Clinton, she said they're concerned about reports coming out of Iran about the possible execution of uh, Pastor Yusuf. What they need to be saying is they need to be calling upon the Iranian government to release him immediately. They're violating international law. The United Nations should be saying the same thing. That pressure's not hit yet, and we are at the critical hours uh, for this pastor and for his family, frankly. And uh, he's got a death sentence, death by hanging, his crime that he's been charged with, apostasy, which meant that he's a Christian and he's a pastor and he's baptizing individuals. That's what they're charging him with. The pressure's not, it's growing, Bill, but it's not there yet. And we right. could really now, use people's Iran help on that. Has he executed anybody else in this circumstance? Well, they've arrested, over the past couple of years, they've arrested literally hundreds. The problem is we don't know what happens to them because they often, rarely do they report. There have been executions in the past, not at this level where it's been this public. But as I said, 250 Christians have been arrested just in the last year. Some of them leaders. And, Bill, right now, you can't tell what happens to them. No, they go, That's they why disappear. This, uh, so 250 Christian correct. leaders in Iran have been uh, arrested. Interesting. Now, Father, I'd like to hear from the Pope on this because, you know, obviously the Pope's a powerful guy, world leader. He can make an appeal directly to the Iranian mullahs saying you can't be executing Christians just because That's they're right. Christians. Yeah, you know what? I looked in the last month. There's been more than a dozen uh, public statements by the Pope standing up for people in a similar situation. In other words, human rights abuses on an international level. Um, I reached out today to people in the Vatican, didn't get a, a clear response. Yeah, and this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm All thinking, right, Bill. Go ahead. What most people don't know is that the Vatican has tremendous, very close ties, diplomatic ties, on the ground. Um, with a lot of these countries in a way that other countries, including the United States, don't so have. So it might be a behind-the-scenes so, thing? Know, this, this is what I'm thinking, that they're dealing with people on a very intimate level. Okay. They're avoiding risking um, a, a public in public. embarrassment, right. and they're standing let's, up and trying let's to... Let's pray, I can use that word right. here, that that's what's going right. on, because as Jay just said, we're getting a tepid statement from Hillary Clinton, and it should be much stronger. Yes, definitely. We've got to be sending a, a very late to, statement. Yeah, we've got to be sending a message to Iran that, look, you can't be killing Christians just because they're Christians. What, what are you guys? I mean, what is it, Nero? I mean, is that where we yeah. are now, back to that situation? Well, you know, you know what, the personal side of this, Bill, I think, that is that here's a man with a family who's oh, no, standing up and saying, ridiculous. I have a chance to go free. And he has the courage. When well, those of us who live in this country... Kill him, he'll be a martyr. That's right. And, Jay, and we're yeah, losing we our religion to... in this country because of a lack okay. of courage. Jay, go ahead. Yeah. Bill, the thing is that you just said, it's cor absolutely correct. The, under Sharia law, which is what's being applied here, you're given three chances to recant. If you don't recant, you suffer death by hanging. That's under the Sharia mandate. Here, this pastor said, I'm not going to recant. I'm a Christian. I believe in Jesus Christ. What's interesting here, and I, I hope Father Jonathan's right here, that the uh, Vatican is using back-channel communications with the Iranians. That's a good thing if they are. We need a dual impact here. That is both a public pressure coming from the United States and then any back-channel communications that are possible because a person's life. It's not just him, Bill. What happens oftentimes is they not only kill the pastor, they kill the family. All and right. that's the thing. It's well, a multiple we're going to say on the story and uh, Thanks, Bill. we urge uh, the State Department to really, and they might be doing it behind the scenes too. All right, Father, thank you.